You know, if there's anything that I, I, I can consider a success is to see other people get inspired by what I'm doing. Welcome to Pullman Bangkok Grand Sukhumvit. Today marks a celebration of various artists around the world and it's about the importance of beauty and the importance of nature as well. So Joseph Barton is a, an artist, Filipino-based here in Bangkok. So Joseph, thank you and for the invitation. Jefferson, thank you very much for having me on your blog. That being said, how did this come about, this uh, involvement with today's event? I uh, used to have a Filipino here who was based in Thailand and has been organizing this kind of show, the, the painting, living canvas and a runway. So uh, I'm lucky to be a fellow Filipino and he gets invi inviting me from there on. Uh, what are people going to see today in terms of the agenda of today's event? Uh, the, main, the main part would be the body painting and we're going to have, like I, said, like I mentioned, the runway. Uh, we're going to have some performances and surprises, a lot of surprises coming up. So it's usually very exciting, I, it's, that's what I can assure you. <laughs> we're going to be featuring that model as they walk through the, the runway and um, yeah, promote some of our designs. You as an artist, you, I think you've started your artworks in the Philippines mm -hmm. and having lived here in Bangkok mm -hmm. for a couple of years already, how has your experience with that, both worlds, influenced your creativity? It's a pretty long story, but to cut it short, I, I studied painting, I studied uh, arts, I'm really into arts when I was young. And uh, in the Philippines, I ended up working in the call center for the longest time. So, and then suddenly it just dawned me that I needed to go back to my passion, which is, you know, being in arts. So I tried Thailand and um, I crawled my way back to arts. I became an art teacher and uh, started to do some volunteer works. Anything that I can do that has, has a, what I can offer as my skills and just kind of like made whatever name I have right now. Josephus, I've had a chance to look at some of your artworks online and it varies differently in terms of the, uh, the theme itself. Your style, could you describe a little bit more? It has been a great journey for me. So when I was, when I was in the Philippines, most of the things that I, that I do is it depicts the lives that we have in the Philippines, mostly of course social realism, uh, a lot of, a bit of darkness in there, sadness in there when I started. And then when um, I kind of like turn around when I started teaching, yeah, I, I became very happy being around with kids. I had to do bright colors and, and happy, happy subjects and stuff like that. But now I'm starting to mix all of them. Uh, as always, it's always a journey. Every, every chapter is, a, is just exciting for me. That being said, your journey, what have you learned so far? Your trajectory from the Philippines to, to here now and meeting different types of people, teaching as well. I think to be open, I think that's the biggest thing, uh, to be open for experiences, to live life basically. YOLO if you want to call it. <laughs> but yeah, it's, it has been um, a learning lesson for me. Like A lot of people, especially my age, that are now stuck in whatever they're, they're at, is the stress and all that. And I, I'm not getting uh, as, you know, the expected success I'm getting, but I'm, I'm definitely happier that I'm, I'm doing what I want right now. Absolutely. So behind us, there are some artworks that you've created. Could you perhaps give us a description of one that you are very, you want people to know something about you? Uh, for the past years, I've been doing flowers and uh, Thailand, lotus and all those and combined with uh, portraits. I do, I do most of my earnings from doing uh, commission portraits. So I, I mix it with my freelance work or, or my, my, my innate work. And uh, it so happened that a live canvas is usually theme uh, with nature and all that on earth so I, I kind of like uh, added a lot of other elements that we can find uh, with, with a figure in it so for example the one right behind us what is that and what is it what do you want people to get in terms of emotions here this purple thing purple is my favorite color because it's the color of, of death and royalty but for the most part it's about uh, how our mind are thinking uh, how we don't we don't stop we cannot turn it off but we can definitely uh, think more positive and produce more uh, better, colorful ideas, and 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 that's what I want to share. Although there, it's just a lot of craziness going on, I think there there is a, a bottom center that we can focus on, and that's the beauty of it. That's the source of what we you know what we want to try to send a message. Josephine, last question. Any last thoughts? Anything that you want to say that I did not ask you that you wish to tell more? Well, uh, thank you very much. I've been, I've been the whole journey of being an artist, of being, being, a, being an, you know, being an art teacher has been uh, super grateful. I, I can only say thank you for all my friends, to all the people, and um, 
you know, if, if there's anything that I, I, I can consider a success is to see other people get inspired by what I'm doing. All right, thank you very much. You very so if you like this video, share, like, comment down below. I'm Jefferson Mendoza, reporting here in Bangkok, wishing you a great day ahead. See you guys.